And hello everyone. If you're watching this part, you might be watching this on a replay. But that is okay. Hashtag replay. Let me know you've watched. Hello. Hope I'm not crooked. Welcome to Crafting with Me. I am Stephanie. We are making something super easy. It's cute, different. I hope. You guys know I say it every time. I hope it turns out the way I envision. But, you know, with crafting, you never know. Okay, I got all my colors, I believe. Let me get my comments rolling. If I can find me. Say hi when you guys get here. Thanks for sharing the video. I do appreciate all the shares you guys do. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Peggy. Hi, hi. I said Chrissy already, but I'll say hi, Chrissy again. Um, yay, Sue. Hi, Cheryl. Yeah, I, you guys, I'm going to tell you all. Hi, Lily. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Nancy. Um, hi, Brandy. Thank you. Hi, Daria. Um, I've been having like trouble sleeping again at night and I think it's just because of everything that I've been going through and, you know, my womenhood stuff. And like, I feel like when I go late, when I'm crafting late, I, it takes a while for me to like, you know, regroup and relax. So I'm like, I'm going to try to go on earlier some nights just to see if maybe that will help my sleep. I don't know. Or I just need medication. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. You're sleepy. Yeah. I've been um trying to get rid of this back pain that I have, which I know it had to have been from me carrying heavy objects. I'm just, I'm getting too old. I'm getting too old. Okay. We're going to use tonight. This is from Dollar Tree. It's just one of these little pumpkins. And then this is a, uh, a round that I don't know if this one particularly is from Dollar Tree. I know you can get them there, but I just had this laying around and I'm going to just make a cute little door hanger, uh, using both of these. So I just want to give this a quick coat with, um, some of the oatmeal chalk paint and we're, we're doing fall. Like this is, uh, this is going to be considered a fall craft, but it's not really too fall. Just trust my process. Just trust the process. Um, really, Andrea? Yeah. Hi, Polly. Um, hi. Thank you, Roseanne, for sharing. How are you, girl? I like, uh, I, I usually take Tylenol PM or melatonin to sleep. I know not, I know you shouldn't probably take Tylenol PM every night, but that's like all I've had. Plus, I like don't take Tylenol all day so I can take my Tylenol PM so that I can, uh, you know, try to sleep a little and then, you know, relieve some of my back issue pain. I don't know guys. It's just, I've been falling apart. I think I just need to go back to the beach and just stay there. Okay. I will distress also around my edges. And I just added, if you saw, I sprayed a little bit of water on this just to make my paint go a little bit more. And I didn't, I don't want it, it doesn't have to be like a full coverage. I'm actually even considering, I'm going to wipe it down just a little too, see if I can, oh yeah, that works. You can see some of the natural like grain on the wood here. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Gail. No, Katie. And I, you know, I... I never would think twice about carrying something heavy upstairs because I, I like do it like, you know, one step at a time, but I think it was the way I turned that I, I did something. I just, I didn't fall asleep till 4.30 in the morning yesterday, well, this morning. So I'm hoping now that I'm on early, I'll be able to relax and move on and actually sleep. Okay. So you could, um, this is kind of wonky. You could uh, paint this first. This looks really cute, just painted. I've made the I've made these over. They're really fun to make. Uh, but what I did, and to save some time, is that we're gonna put some scrapbook paper on this. And what I did was I just uh, measured the scrapbook paper to fit the size. So what we're using tonight is from Create Timeless Design. It's their sunflower and bee uh, transfers. And what I did too, so that I didn't like lose where these all go, is I like numbered the slats and then numbered the um, scrapbook paper. 
but I just, I just measured, I, I mean, I just traced, that's all I did. I traced this pumpkin and that's all. It, it's super simple. I didn't think that you needed me to do that. Just, you know, take up more time. So we're going to use some Mod Podge. Let's use a bigger brush. Um, hi, Rhonda. Hi, Haley. Yes, Giselle, I hope your husband's feeling better. How are you tonight, Pauline? So we're just going to take some Mod Podge and I like I these these are cut to fit um they're not gonna fit perfect because listen you all know me I am not perfect when I'm crafting I could do a little bit more just because this is kind of thick scrap of paper yeah this is number one but I figured if it if things don't line up perfect I'll just cut um and then I, I also have to go around and like kind of distress because I had a little bit of an accident earlier with a paint pen. You could see, look, it's right here on my pumpkin. And right here, it exploded. I was on the phone with my grandma talking away and not paying attention and I exploded a paint pen. <laughs> All right, so I just want to make sure everything's lined up and we'll just Mod Podge. This, I made, um, I, I used napkins on these too. They work on these pumpkins, but doing this with scrapbook paper, it's so fun. And this has been out for, these pumpkins have been out for a few years. I've been, I always make, uh, I at least make one every year. See how you can see? I'm going to show you because I want you to see imperfections happen. See how I cut that wonky? It's fine. I will distress that area so that you won't even know it's there. Or you might. Whatever. Um, pinched nerve in your hip. Pam, you know, I was worried too. I might have done something like that. Because I was getting pain down my right leg. I was getting pain up into my groin. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. If it's not better by like the end of the week, then I guess I'll have to call the doctor but y'all know me if I don't have to go to the doctor I'm not going <laughs> oops that's needs to be lined up a little bit better and then I'll put another coat also yeah this is another one I kind of messed up on but we'll hide the ugly See, Jamie, you already said, you say it. Unless, like, okay, in my defense, if, like, something is persistent and doesn't go away, then I know, like, okay, something's wrong. But I don't like to jump to conclusions that, like, you know, because I'm the type of person where it's like, I have a headache, oh, I have a tumor. Or I have a headache, oh, it's a blood clot. That That's my anxiety, too. I'm serious. Yeah, but what what I I made sure when I um, cut my scrapbook paper that I would get the image how I wanted it, um, and these timeless design scrapbook paper there's it was really hard to choose what image I wanted, but I think having like a sunflower in the fall that it's this is so fall to me, but look how pretty that's coming together. We're gonna fix it because it looks a hot mess. Thank you, Robin. Um, see, Nancy, it, I, I, I'm like, I'm constantly, I think it's because I worked in healthcare too for a long time where I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm knowledgeable in some areas where I'm just like, I'm going to just Google these symptoms again. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, I have three days, three days to go. Um, I was about to say, I'm like, what did I do here? But, uh, yeah, I already said napkins work really good on these, too. If you don't have scrap of paper and you have a pretty uh, napkin, use a napkin. All right, let me just do a quick dry, if I can bend. And then we'll, uh, I'm going to distress, and then we're going to seal it. I'm going to paint my stem. And I think it's going to look cute. 
Uh, Melinda, this was not a nap. This is scrapbook paper from Timeless Designs. You can find them here on Facebook and on Amazon. They're the uh, ones that I always use their transfers. They're rub-on transfers. But they came out with scrapbook paper. And it's amazing. And you don't have to be like... Uh, you don't have to worry about this scrapbook paper getting wrinkles or getting funky because it's thick and it's it's nice to work with Mod Podge and really good for crafting. All right, let me get this kind of cleaned up on my edges. I said, yeah, thank you. Who said it? Sarah, thank you, girl. Let me pin it. I'm going to pin it in the um, comment below. Yeah, Pam, and it's real. And, it, you know, a lot of times I tell, when I worked, I worked in the ER a few times, and I would tell people that came in, because they'd be like, it's probably nothing, I just have anxiety, and I'm, I'm always like, listen, it's better to be checked, better be safe than sorry. Do you think I'd take my own advice? No. No. I don't. I figured, you know what, whatever. <laughs> All right. I think this is fine. And then we're going to go ahead... I'm going to uh, put my wax on first, and then I'm going to go over it all with another coat of Mod Podge just to seal it all in there. But this is the best dang wax. And I had some questions for my last night's live. This is a makeup brush from the Dollar Tree. It works really good to distress if you have, like, this wax. Um, it's just, it's wonderful to use. Just, But you, you can also just use a normal paintbrush. Hi, Jamie. Yes, 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 yes. Coloring. I love coloring. Um, I had a, uh, a coloring book. It was the Golden Girls. My friend sent it to me. And I would just color Golden Girls pictures before bed. <laughs> now I craft before bed. So I guess it's like the same thing, right? All right, so here is where the imperfections lie on my edges where my scrapbook paper didn't go all the way up. I will cover some of this with some uh, Spanish moss, but it's no big deal. You just take your distressing color and just go in along those edges and you shouldn't be able to tell that I messed up or if you make something like this that you messed up. Because accidents happen and that's just how I craft. I always have to learn how to hide the ugly. You all know that. But if you're perfect, good. Don't, you don't got to worry about all this part. <laughs> and I even got the paint over here too, so that's why I'm trying to add a little more. Okay. Oh, see, I love this. I think this looks really cool. Except right here, but we'll ignore that. I think that looks cool. Um, are you, you know what, Irene? My kids, uh -huh. Luke had a cough. Um, Logan came home and complained of a sore throat. I just had to give him Robitussin. But he has no fever and no cough, but I gave him a, like Robitussin for sore throat. I'm like, I can't handle... I can't handle the sickness yet. Uh, Haley, this is scrapbook paper from uh, uh, Timeless Design. But we're making it into fall. I know bees aren't technically your fall jam, but sunflowers are. And these have such warm, golden... It's This, to me, if you slap it on a pumpkin, it's fall. Just saying. let this sit for a second before I seal it with my, more Mod Podge just because of that wax. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and I have this cute little Happy Fall wooden cutout. I don't know where this came from. Maybe Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby in like one of their little packs. But I'm going to go ahead and paint that. We're just going to use the color Sheepskin. I wanted a uh, like a brighter um I wanted this to be able to stand out, but I will distress it so it's not like too in your face white. But I just want to make sure you can see it because it's a darker print. Um, thanks, Gina. 
Um, thank you, Pat. Yeah, Timeless Designs, they they have an awesome, awesome products when it comes to scrapbooking, paper, and their rub-on transfers. I cannot speak any higher. They're a, you know, a family-owned mother and daughter, uh, small business, and they're, they're awesome. Okay, there, happy fall. Let's give this all a dry and then I'll distress so it, um, you know, it'll all blend in. Hi, Brenda. Thank you. Oh, for the, um, no, they don't have that brush. Thank you for the stars. Who just sent those to me that I missed? Janet, thank you for those stars, girl. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Carol. Thanks all for hopping on. I know I'm early. I did send out a telegram. And I told you guys I just have to have an earlier night because I just can't, I just haven't been able to sleep good. And I know you guys, you guys don't want to hear about all my woes and issues, but that's the reason. I, but I did see someone say that you could probably find these makeup brushes on Amazon. Even Walmart has them. I've seen Walmart. They're a little bit more pricier, but... Even, it, it, honestly, guys, if you even have just like a sponge, a sponge works good for distressing. Or a good old-fashioned paintbrush. Okay, I like that. And I'm just putting this down here on the right side. I don't want it in the middle. I just don't want to take away from the print as much. But I did want some fall wording. A little element of fall. Shoot. Well, I guess we'll just, this is Mod Podge, right? Yeah. We'll just Mod Podge this part. I wanted to have a nice seal on here. I'll just Mod Podge right on top. I don't even care. <laughs> I got too excited. Sometimes I do that, but... There, it's all good. All right. Um. Oh, Sarah, I'm sorry. Uh, Paula came from Timeless Designs. You know the rub-on transfers I use? That's where it's from. Timeless Designs on Amazon, and they also have Facebook. And I, I should have uh, pinned their uh, Facebook page in the in the comments. All right, I'm just going around. Same distressing technique. Nothing fancy or special. I just want to add a little dimension to our backing. I kind of go darker, you know, I go a little heavier on the edges and then I kind of just go in lightly. And then, before we attach, we're going to, I guess we can decorate while we put it on. I think that'll be fine. <clears throat> but this is going to be a hanger. So, I'm going to put a, we're going to put a hanger on this. I think it will look cute on the door. But these, you could, you could find these pumpkins at Dollar Tree. They've come out every year with them. Hi, Robin. Yes, Sarah. Sometimes that helps too. Having someone to talk to while you're going through it. I completely agree with that. All right. We'll go ahead and put this on our round. And then I'll just... We'll decorate it up. Just a little hot glue. That's all you need.
uh, one. This is a, uh, it's scrapbook paper. I don't have, I do. I have it out. Hold on. Let me show you. Oh God. <laughs> oh. oh, yep. I turned 39 and everything falls apart. <sighs> this is what they are. You get 36 sheets of this gorgeous, gorgeous bee, honey bee scrapbook paper. There's, there's their logo there. Create or yeah. No, that's what they say. Create something today. Timeless designs. <laughs> but yeah, they're, these are great. Gorgeous, very thick, like very sturdy. If the paper can be called sturdy. Oh. All right, let's uh, do see this all up now. You're welcome, guys. Isn't it? I'm feeling fine. I just, I did something to my back yesterday, or the day before yesterday. I was taking photos up the steps because my daughter wanted to see what I looked like when I was at her age. And I'm her mother and I have tons of photos. I'm a big picture person. Scrap, I was a scrapbooker in high school and scrapbooked everything. So I had like a whole tote full of like old albums and I was bringing them up the steps and I think I pulled some. Okay, so Spanish moss to the top of our pumpkin here. We, um, I get mine from Walmart. I'm going to do the whole top part of my pumpkin. Oh, hi, Belinda. How are you? I, yes, Dorothy, I've been taking ibuprofen. Um, hi, Lisa. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had Dan, like, try to rub it, and he was like, He's like, I don't feel a knot because usually I get knots in my back and he rubs them out. He's like, I don't feel anything. He's like, I'm probably in like every time he would do it. I'm like, ow, ooh, ee, ah. He's like, I don't think I'm helping. I'm like, yes, you are. Just keep rubbing. I love my back rubbed. <laughs> if I don't get it done at least once a week, then I, I get very mad. Okay. No, no, Spanish moss is a mess. Okay. Let's give it a little haircut. All right. So it has a little little hair up there. Yes, Paige. My heating pad has been on whoop <laughs> it has been on for the last week between the women issues and then now this yeah the heating pad has been a lifesaver and i did ice it yesterday and then soaked in a hot bath so i'm just doing what you're supposed to do when you injure yourself like an idiot but okay now let's go ahead and we're going to do all the, the best part. That's adding some greenery. We're going to add some leaves. And then I have a hanger. We're going to do like a simple, like small little, I have two beads just left over from another project. That's going to be our hanger. I guess we should do that first. Maybe. And we're going to do a bow obviously <laughs> let's go ahead and just staple this yep that went right through dang it I thought this was going to be thick enough oh well I'll hide it all right Is happening here um oh nancy i'm telling you don't don't judge it went through the the wood i thought this was thick enough but it kind of went through the top it's fine i'll hide it with something okay let's go ahead 
Let's make our bow first and then we'll add in all of our greenery and all the things that I want to add. The rest, it's, it's just going to be a simple. Gosh, the strings everywhere. Oh, that's why I'm. Sh I love ripping fabric, but sometimes it's always an issue. All right, so I'm using some of my fabric that I got this from a thrift store. It just matches perfect. And then I'm just going for like the butt, like a, you know, a plaid. And then I have some honeycomb from the Dollar Tree. So we're going to go ahead and make a loopy bow. It's going to go back and forth. You all know this is my most favorite part, but it's also my most stressful part because I, you know, I kind of screw up sometimes. <laughs> But what did I do last night? You just do it again. Try to try again. Um, the, the strings in. I did put the string in prior to me going live, just because I was trying to be more organized in my crafting abilities. String is in, guys. I'm also using some cheesecloth fabric that I coffee stained. Which I need to get some more cheesecloth. Does anyone ever use like drop cloth for crafting? I'm wondering how thick that is. I don't think I'm going to use this. I'm just going to finish finish it off with the plaid and the cheesecloth. You use drop cloth? Does it work? Okay, cool. Um, yes, everything's good with Lainey and her family. She's just taking care of some things. She had doctor's appointments for the kiddos. So she's been, you know, busy with that, but every, she's doing good. The baby's good, but she's doing good. I did post her information on the, the last post on my page, uh, for Lainey's, uh, group for her boutique. Cause a lot of y'all loved the, um, the glass that I was that I had the other day with the ghost on it and Laney custom makes those so they're wonderful all right my tail's long for now so I'm thinking of I done it I done it again I done it again it's way too big <laughs> I'm okay with it I'm just gonna put it to this left side I did originally want it in the center But plans have changed, and that's okay. You just adapt to your project sometimes. In my case, all the time. Definitely need to trim this though, because it's taken away the beautiful print.
Um, thanks, Gina. Thanks, Kim. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. It's always fine. All right. Now, I just stole these, like, leaves. They were, I don't know what they were off of. But I thought it matched pretty nicely. I'm going to kind of stick that into the side of the, the bow. Maybe. I gotta get hot glue sticks still. I need to I need to go to Walmart. It is much needed. Um really Tammy? I know, I know. All right, I think I'll, all I want to do is add just a little bit of greenery. And I was keeping this long because I thought it would look really cool, like coming... Now, we're going to cut it. I thought it would look cool, like, coming, like, around the pumpkin, but I think I like it just to kind of put it, like, into my bow. But this is that, um, the berry bush greenery from Hobby Lobby. I think it looks so cute with the, uh, these transfer, or this... Scrapbook paper. I'll just add a couple pieces on either side. Oh my gosh, my comments all stopped. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Um, oh, you got some of the... Wait, let me see if I can read it. Oh, I can. It's Let me read the comment. I got some of the berries from Etsy. It's called Sweet Annie. You know, I've looked it up, and I've never been able to find that Sweet Annie. So finding this was awesome, but that's great. I'm going to have to look on... You said Etsy. That's cool. I don't like the way I did that. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I just keep trimming this bow up. There's going to be nothing left. I'm honestly considering taking away a part of the bow. Please don't be mad at me, but this is just who I am and what I do. If you don't like something, you fix it. And this is what we're doing. I don't like this. I know, someone's clutching their pearls right now, like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? <laughs> just calm down. It just looked too much.
See that? I like it better. All right. Let me um, continue putting my greenery on after I just completely demolished a bow, but listen, that's what we do here. trim it down a little too but just trying to find some balance okay Okay, this is becoming a hot mess, and I'm ready to throw it out the window. <laughs> All right. Step away from the berry bush. Step away from the berry bush. All right, so that's what I have going so far. I'm going to now just kind of, I don't know, touch it up. I don't know if I wanted to add. Something. I need to figure out what I want to do for the center of this bow because it's looking a hot mess. Um, we found out our steps are going to spinal cord injury and I said this time he has no use. Oh my gosh, Billy, I'm so sorry. I did, Ruth. Did you see that? I just start taking it all off. Billy, I'm so sorry. My prayers are with your husband. Please know that I will say a prayer for him. All right. I think I may be done as far as all the extra. <laughs> yeah, that don't even match. Um, hold on, just don't judge. Just calm down. I kind of want to lighten this just a tad. Just humor me. Yeah, I'm going to add it. I know. I know, guys. I drive y'all crazy. I'll trim that. <clears throat> it just looked too dark. I don't know. Since I took away that other piece of the bow. All right. I think what I'll do... For the center of the bow is add a button and then just I'm just gonna paint the button I think it 
Ben's also indecisive knees out tonight. So bear with me. Um, yes, guys, send Billy some love and strength for her husband. All right, so for the center of this bow, I'm going to do a simple shoestring with some of the um, plaid fabric. Just because it looked really wonky. Rafi is losing its mind too. All right. I know you're all are like, can you just get done for the love, for the love. <laughs> Listen, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I don't need to paint this because it kind of just goes with it. Oh, that's broken. These buttons I get at Walmart. They're just wooden buttons. I love them. Of course, the one I want. Too big. There. Okay. Thanks, Donna. I'm going to just take a little bit of my, the sheepskin white chalk paint, just so it all matches. Even though this, the, the wooden buttons would go with it, I just kind of want it to look like that. Okay, so just, just light, just a little lightness. I'm just going to stick it on and I'll let it dry on its own. All right, we're done. And then I have my um, my little pinchers. I'm just going to try to camouflage my lovely holes from my staples. And I'm going to still mess with this bow probably till tomorrow. But, all right, that'll be it. There's so many different ways you can create with these pumpkins. I think this, I, I love that. It's different, you know? Thank you, Kaz. Hi, Lori. Thank you, Rosa. I think it's just, you know, it, it, I, I wanted to use a different kind of scrapbook paper that's not necessarily for fall, but it could still work. You know what I'm saying? If you want to put, like, strawberries or blueberries on your pumpkins, you can do that. It's whatever you like. That's the best part about crafting. All right, that is it for me. I got to clean this up before I post any pictures. So <laughs> it might be completely different when I post it. You'll be like, wait, that's not what she made. <laughs> Thank you, Bam. Oh, all right. I love you guys. Thank you, Kay. Thank you guys so much for joining tonight. I love you. I will see you guys tomorrow. Listen, I'm going to give you a little bit of a idea so tomorrow's live if you want to craft along with me get some cardboard get some different size cardboard if you have paint have paint out ready or some uh yarn i'm going to be using yarn in the colors white yellow and orange so that's going to be tomorrow's live just giving you a little heads up but i love you guys thank you so much for joining again the scrapbook paper is timeless designs dollar tree for the round and the pumpkin happy fall i don't know where it came from you can find them at dollar tree but that's it i love you all good night where's my finish